Hello everyone, it's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. Today I'm going to be using a single die and showing you how to use both the positive and the negative cutouts from just one die. This is the card we'll be making in the video today and I have three additional cards at the end of the video so stay with me. So the butterfly die that I'll be using is by Bunny Moon. I just think that's a very clever name and it cuts out the uh, outside as well as the inside with one pass, just one die. These are the papers I will be using today and let's jump into it. So my card base is five by six and a half inches. I will be using a purple mat that is four and three quarters by six and a quarter and a gray mat that's four and a half by six. Okay, you can see this particular gray mat has a little bit of a pattern to it. And then I will also be using a piece of white cardstock. So I'm going to cut this butterfly two times, once on the gray mat and once on the white mat. All right, now to help me align my butterfly for die cutting, I'm going to use this grid mat. It's very simple to make sure I've got this centered on my mat. I'm going to bring, bring over some washi tape and get this butterfly die adhered down so that I can put it through my die cutting machine and ensure that it won't move on me. I'll be, bring over my Sizzix Big Shot die cutting machine and I'll be using this precision base plate. Now this is a great tool to have if you've got intricate dies. It shows you on the back what type of sandwich you need to make. You want to make sure you put the black side up. It's magnetic so it helps hold your dies down. I'm going to put this down like this with one plate over the top and I'll run this through two times. Once forward and, and I'll back it back through again. I like to do this with intricate dies to make sure I have a good cut. You don't get two chances with intricate dies. It's very easy to get off if you don't have this tape down. So you can see I put it face down and I'm running it back through just for good measure. Now this die is sharp, so it cut really well. You can see it's already pulling away from my gray mat. This is exactly what you want. So carefully remove your die. There's the gray mat for the front of our card. Then I'll be bringing over the Spellbinders tool in one, and you can see on your dies there are these little holes around the perimeter of your die. I call these release holes. This releases your die cut paper from the die itself. So after I get through going around the perimeter of these holes, I'll take the brush part of my tool in one and just brush out that scroll work. Now that precision base plate is the reason that this is releasing so beautifully. Look at that beautiful gray butterfly. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to do the same thing using the white card stock. Now you do not need to do this. I just did this because I thought that the white butterfly would show up better on my gray mat and the gray butterfly on the white mat. So again, at the end of the video, I have four cards in total to show you. So you can use the positive and the negatives from each. See how that pops against the contrasting mats? Okay, now let's start getting our, our card put together. This is what the gray mat will look like over the purple with the white butterfly. Looking very beautiful. And then this is what the white would look like over the purple with the gray butterfly. Beautiful as well. Okay, for today's video though, we're going to be using this patterned gray mat with the white butterfly. So one rule of thumb when I'm using liquid adhesive, which if you follow me, you know I prefer using liquid adhesive when working with mats because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room to make minor adjustments when I'm putting it on my card front. If I were to use a tape runner, once I stuck this down, I wouldn't be able to readjust my mat. So what I was going to tell you is that when I am using this liquid adhesive, I go up close to the edges, but not right on the edge because I do like to use a brayer to make sure I have good adhesion 
and I don't want that glue to ooze out on the front of my card. So here I'm going around the mat. This is very easy to do because the intricacy is not on the mat, it's on that scroll cutout of the butterfly. So this is the negative portion, the mat here. I'm going to get this put down over that purple layer. And you can see, I mean, it's really a pretty outline as well. You could call this card done right here with the purple butterfly being the main focal point. It's pretty this way too. But of course I am going to use that beautiful scroll cut butterfly over the purple like this. Now when I'm using an intricate die, I like to use a spray adhesive for that. And I keep an old paper box on hand and then I just use some pages out of a catalog or a magazine and I switch those out periodically so that my die cuts don't stick to the pages because this is very very tacky spray. Just give it a quick spritz and I'll get that put down on the front of my card. It's very easy to align this into the negative space and now you can see why I chose to use a contrasting color because that white really pops against the gray. Give that a little press there and done with that. Look how beautiful that is. The last thing I want to do is add a little die to the front that says celebrate and I'll use the same color that I used on that second, that my first mat, that purple mat, just to coordinate with everything. And that is it. Now when I use the uh, mat with a little bit of a pattern to it, I just went straight with that like in today's video. When you see the subsequent cards with a solid mat, you'll see that I used an embossing folder to add a little scripty background to those. So that completes my card for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you get inspired to look at your dies as well to see if you could use some that would, you know, be conducive to using both the positive and the negative cutouts from a single die. It's so much fun to look through your stash and see what you might could do with your own dies. So here is my finished card for today and my coordinating envelope. It came together very quickly and because I was using contrasting colors I was able to get two cards done very quickly and while I was at it I went ahead and did two additional ones. So here is that gray butterfly from the gray mat that you just saw and you see the white, the plain mat that we cut out earlier, I just embossed that. The same here. It's a cream mat with a black butterfly and then I've got a black mat with a cream butterfly. So just use your imagination, see what you can come up with. I'm sure you'll come up with something beautiful as well. I am so happy you dropped by today. I hope you get inspired to give this a try using both the positive and the negative cutouts from your dies and that you will become a subscriber. Leave me a comment, a thumbs up, and I hope to see you again next week. Happy crafting everyone!